Well, all right, but you gotta promise not to tell Archie. Okay. Ma's going on a second honeymoon. With who? <laughs> well, you told me not to tell Archie, I figured. <laughs> I want to keep it a secret and surprise him, so I ain't telling him till the night before we leave. Where you going? The Hotel Atlantic City in Atlantic City. <laughs> it's the same place we spent our first honeymoon 25 years ago. <laughs> Is that a great way to celebrate a 25th anniversary? Yeah, that's, that's very romantic, Ma. What made you think of a second honeymoon? Well, I was in the dentist's office reading this article in Cosmopolitan magazine, 10 modern ways to keep your marriage fresh. Well, the first nine ways were a little too fresh for Lord. <laughs> but the last one said, go on a second honeymoon and feel like a newlywed again, and that's what we're gonna do. Honey, wouldn't you like to go on a second honeymoon? No. Why not? I'm not through with my first one yet. Uh... <laughs> Mike, while we was gone, was there a phone call or a telegram for me? No, Ma. Oh, my. The hotel said they'd let me know if they could give us the same room we had 25 years ago. Maybe that's the telegram. I got the idea of the same room from watching the movie, Plaza Suite. Oh, hi, Marie. Hello, honeymoon girl. Oh. <laughs> hi there. Hi, Louise. Hi. Will this be all right oh, for you? Louise, that's beautiful, and it's so light. It's airplane luggage. Oh, my. Oh, but don't worry, Edith. You can take it on the bus. <laughs> That's good. Mike, would you take this upstairs to your room? If Archie sees it, he may catch on. Oh, sure, Ma. Oh, and Ma, I better hide your new negligee. Because oh. if Daddy sees it, he'll go wild. Oh. <laughs> you mean you haven't told Archie oh, yet? Oh, no, I ain't going to tell him till the last minute. I want to surprise him. Well, the last time we went away on a weekend, my husband surprised me, George, and his practical jokes. What did he do? He signed the hotel register, Mr. and Mrs. George Wallace. <laughs> well, Archie was very nice on our honeymoon. He was a perfect gentleman. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Better luck this time. Oh. <laughs> With her, she hit on a number? No, Archie, she's just happy. Yeah. Well, how come she's so happy in the middle of the week? I certainly ain't happy, and I got a bone to pick with that son of hers, Lionel. What happened? Ah, oh, you know, I wanted to go to the Knicks Lakers game. You know that. I couldn't get off of work to buy your tickets. So it's just a line. Look, I'll give you five bucks if you go to Madison Square Garden and stand on line for a ticket. That was two days ago. I ain't seen hide the hair of him since. I'll get it, I'll get it! I'll get it! <laughs> Hello? Yeah, this is her. Oh, would you hold on a minute, please? Archie, this is a personal call. For me? No, for me. <laughs> do you mind? Why should I mind? Answer the phone. I mean, do you mind leaving the room, please? <laughs> I know you ain't talking to me. Archie, this is private. Oh, it's there. This happens to be my house, my living room. That's my telephone there. I'm in on all the privates in this house. Oh, hello? Um, uh, there's someone here in this room who ain't supposed to hear what I'm gonna say. So you talk, and I'll go... Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 go ahead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you. Yeah, goodbye. What was 
say I know I'm a fox.